the claims. Flip Your Soil on Ag Day is brought to you by ESN Smart Nitrogen. USDA's Natural Resource Conservation Service provides technical assistance if you want to implement new conservation practices to help flip your soil. Ag Day's Michelle Rook is back and takes us to Nebraska where many farms are already ahead of the curve. Utilizing conservation practices to improve soil health is nothing new for farmers in Nebraska. Many were early adopters of no-till to preserve moisture and protect soils from wind erosion. The next step was integrating in cover crops. We're seeing quite a few producers now that are planting green. So they're planting right into our green cover crops and then terminating at a later date. So they're really trying to get the most out of the cover crops possible. Plus the cover crops can provide some forage for livestock producers to take some pressure off their pastures. Dominey says many producers also use those cover crops for weed control. Definitely there's some folks out there that totally believe the weed suppression potential and with rolling some of these taller um, cover crops like rye um, and triticale and other things where they're able to just lay that flat and it does provide really nice weed suppression um, so it, it reduces their costs with um, chemical controls. Farmers are also reducing other input costs as they build carbon and organic matter in the soil through soil health principles. And then once a system has been in a cover crop no-till system, there are some of our those early innovators, early adopters that are seeing the real nutrient benefits of bringing in all of that additional carbon into the soil and uh, crops are, are, are doing well with uh, less inputs. Dominique says over time, these soil health methods sequester carbon and improve the microclimate of the land. If we can promote um, no-tillage so there's no loss of carbon during the tillage events. If we can promote continuous living roots in a system, we're going to continually be processing, putting photosynthesis in place, putting carbon back in the ground, nutrient exchange. Um, all that is always better. He says farmers won't see results overnight. It may take three to five years to achieve higher yields and reap big economic returns from these soil health practices. But the longer term benefits are worth it. I'm Michelle Rook reporting for Ag Day.